Hello everyone, welcome back to a little mini Dexfield update slash decision making process. So what you can see at the minute is I've got a rake of four coaches in where the station area is going to be. So that's going to be pretty much the end of the station. Um, and it's going to go on a little bit further than that to hold another um, locomotive or maybe even a wagon locomotive, not sure yet. But at the minute it's on a very, very gradual curve. So if you look around here, you can sort of see it's um, very gentle. Uh, the, the reason for this was so that when you got the platform up to the coaches there, I don't see if you can see, there wasn't going to be you know, much, of a, much of a gap between the coaches and the platform edge like you would see if you did a really sharp radius curve. Um, but the downside to this is the fact that as soon as it goes into the, the curve there, and if I zoom in, you can sort of see where it very quickly just goes into that 30 inch radius curve, which in one hand, compared to this very gradual um, curve, it's quite jarring, especially if you've factor in that I could be sat sort of here and it's like you know you can sort of see where it's uh, it looks quite severe compared to like the rest of the layout where it's um, very very gradual indeed so thought process because at the minute if I were to um, see it like this I'd be tempted to go pretend this is a road bridge or something else um, I'd be tempted to do that to hide that um, you can still see it if you look down but the problem is as well from where I'm standing I would lose all that the scenics really I, mean, I suppose I could do something like that maybe and sort of like get a bit of this so that's one option so it just comes straight out of tunnel straight into there and if I look down down it'll look a bit a bit naff but won't be too bad I suppose or I'll just show you the alternative option right now so this is an alternative idea so if I just fly you over the station area I'd have to rip up a bit of it, not too much though, but the difference is it's more transitional so it goes down here to I think about a six foot radius just there and then it slowly goes into a 30 inch curve, radius curve there so you can sort of see the difference. Now It'll bring it out further here, which would probably be slightly better for the fiddle yard to give you a bit more space. But the downside is the station there will be on more of a sharper curve, so I'll get more of the gap between the carriages and the platform. So let me just lay them on and you can sort of see what I mean. So this is a rough idea of what I'm thinking. So yeah, there'd definitely be more of a gap. Obviously the station platform would end here-ish. So what you see sort of from here um, wouldn't be too bad I suppose actually. But the difference is because it's a bit more gradual going into that curve, I don't think it looks as jarring. What do you think? And the difference is then, there's nothing stopping me doing bridge all the way back later, just as it goes into the fiddle yard, door leaving me, you mean because before it was about there, so it would open up this bit for Scenix a little bit more. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm kind of torn between both ideas. It does mean ripping up a bit of the track, 
but not too much. So, yeah, be a bit of a bore late, but you know, it won't be the end of the world. At least I don't have to touch everything down that end. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Bye for now.